Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate boning out a hind quarter of beef. While I understand that there are many, many techniques and many different ways of boning out a hind quarter of beef, the way I'm going to demonstrate today is a way that is suitable for both butcher shops and for farmers at home. Those that may want to slaughter and do their own, own boning on a farm, it is suitable because you only require a knife to do it this way. There's no sawing in it and you alleviate any bone fragments, bone dust and that sort of thing. So without any further ado, this is a hind quarter of beef and I'd like you to have a look at this. This is a, a prime yearling beef. It's only probably 12, 14 months old. It's a, it's a very high quality piece of meat. This outside section is where the hide would come from. And this inside section is where it's separated from the other side. Now, while good boners would take about four or five minutes to completely bone these, uh, today I'm going to take considerable, considerably more time because I want to demonstrate slowly and precisely with precision exactly where each cut is and exactly what you have to do with your knife and where you need to be placed in order to bone this out. Okay, firstly a quick rundown on the cuts. On the inside you can see your backbone here. This is where the T-bone comes from. Under this section here we've got the eye fillet in here and on the other side here is the porterhouse steak. This section combined together is the T-bone. This section through here is where you get your skirt, skirt steak from. This is the hip bone. On the inside of the thigh, this section here is where the top side is. Coming around here, we've got this hard knobby bit here. This is the knee bone. And I don't know if you can see, but there is a fat seam going down here and around here. And this defines this section here, which is the round. Coming up over this section here will be the silver side. And from where we separate the T-bone to roughly across there is the rump section. So the, the top of the bottom. Firstly, in taking this hind quarter apart, we'll start by removing this lean piece of meat off the outside of the, of the skirt section. This, once you remove all the fat from it, is suitable for lean meats. I'll just sit it right there. Now if you can just come in here. I'm going to take the skirt. This section here is the skirt. Now I'd just like to demonstrate this without so that we can get it off without interfering with the eye fillet which is of course the most prime cut with gentle pressure on there and just a bit of cutting you can see how that pulls away now we don't want to go in there anymore because on here is your eye fillet i'm going to come around this side and on this big piece of fat here you can see that there's plenty there i'm just going to cut it away in there just pull this down. Now at this stage I usually give it a bit of a tug and it comes away. It opens up flat. What I like to do is because we all love t-bone steaks here we're going to leave the t-bone whole so I won't bone that out and I'm going to leave probably an inch and a half of tail on the end of the on the end of the t-bone. That gives you a little bit of value adding because if it was in skirt, uh, it, you would get diced steak price. Um, on the end of the T-bone, of course, you would get T-bone price. So we will just go straight down here until we hit that rib bone. Okay, now we'll just go around these couple, couple of rib bones here. And you can see what I'm doing here, just marking those on either side. Just going like this. There we have it. Bones nice and clean, everything 
done with precise precision. This area through here will be um, is where you get the skirt from. This will be your, your, your thin skirt and your thick skirt from under here. The rest of it will be trimmed out for lean mints and for sausages. The next thing now is to remove the eye fillet and the T-bone. We're going to take the T-bone off on this very last joint here. It gives us the maximum uh, yield out of our T-bone steak. Now, in order to get our eye fillet, it goes right up here to the top this so I'm just going to put my knife in there I'm going to pull it across until it stops on that bone then I'm going to run my run it down this way and I'm going to come down until I get to that joint through there to the bone down here and around into that joint I'll hold that with my boning hook I'll put my knife inside and just open that up slowly you can just see that starting to fall apart there now and what I want to do is with gentle pressure with my left hand and just allowing the knife to take the connective tissue away I'm just going to follow that seam down we'll just demonstrate how to get this off of the bone so we're just to the bottom of, of this bone here is called the H-bone, the hip bone or the H-bone. So just to the bottom of the H-bone, and we come across here. I'll just make sure that that's in there properly, and I can just put my knife in and go straight across the bottom of that bone. I'll turn my knife around and push back the other way, keeping the tip of it in the joint where I've opened it up, and the back of it straight through. Then just with a bit of pressure I pull down, and the joint opens up and I'm able to just take it straight through and bring it completely off. You'll see on the end of the T-bone there is just a little bit of the soft bone of the end of the end of the H-bone. That's a good indication that you've got all that you can on your T-bone.